<laughs> Ew, That's dude. So much gulp. Do you hear yourself gulping? Yes. It's a lot of gulp. I can hear that that, that I can hear that throat going to work, dude. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> He's the throat goat. Yeah, the throat uh, goat. Let me uh here, hang on. Let me see what I can do. Hang on, here we go. Ew. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's fucking if you put it up on your face or like your guttural. throat, like you have a fucking cigarette problem, you know, like you talk like this and then you yeah. drink. Yeah. Ask, ask me if ask me if I was masturbating. Okay, you ready? You ready? Mm -hmm. Hey, Michael, were you masturbating? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's basically what the podcast yeah, yeah, yeah. is. Okay, all right. Yeah, we figured. I think it I out. can handle that. You figured that out, right? It's yeah, I think I can handle stakes, that for uh, sure. About a hundred viewers on YouTube a week. Don't brag. No, I'm not. I'm crying. Jeez. It's falling apart. We're about forty thousand dollars in the hole since we started. It's been going, by the way. Yeah, it's about uh, <sighs> we're about forty. We're about forty k in the hole. So you know, hopefully this can you know turn. Hopefully it turns around soon. It sounds like me and my uh, purple car, my my E forty six. Yeah, yeah, the E forty six. Yeah, yeah I was telling Taylor about that. He's like, who is this guy? I was like, uh, he. Uh, it's Brent Gill. I didn't he, say it like that. He's like, who the fuck is this doucher? Like who the he, fuck? Yeah, he was holding a picture up of you, and he was like, who is this fucking <laughs> douche? No, it had, this it had holes in it from when he was he was shooting his twenty two at it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like, uh, it's my my one of my very good friends, Brent Gill. Probably he, your best friend. Yeah, probably. Of all time. Yeah, probably one of my <laughs> best friends of all time. He uh, he was like, what, what what about him? I was like, well, he he tours with David Spade. He opens uh -huh. for him. He's got a fucking giant purple drift car that he fucking uh -huh. swings like a badass, and he uh -huh. drives an electric hog all over yeah. Austin, Texas. That's pretty much it. He be a funny comic. He likes cars. He basically rips. Uh, we're boys. Yeah. We're definitely boys. We're boys. Let's go, guys. That's our new podcast, <laughs> boys. Boys, hey, hey, fellas, hey, fellas, hey, fellas, with you Michael Ridley. Get? Oh, I lost my ears. Hey, fellas, with Michael Ridley and Brent Gill. Oh, also, uh, let me start. Hey, what the fuck yeah. is going on? It's your boy Michael Ridley, the host of Radio Ridley Radio. Today's date is June fourth, and it's three thirty-eight p.m. Central Standard Time in the great town of Austin, Texas. And I'm joined with uh, I'm joined with a a deaf, uh, Brent Gill. He's, yeah. he's trying to get turned up in the headphones. I'm ears right free, now. but it's fine because I don't I don't know if I 100 percent need the ears. It's trying. You're on the right cable. Yeah, he's yeah. All, yeah. It, like I said, we're 40k in the hole. Everything's falling apart constantly. <laughs> Maybe you should have spent forty thousand and one hundred dollars. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> on one on one more XLR, <laughs> just one more cable. Try well, the ones next to you. Okay, Try it's all these. Ones. Well, it, all these people come in here and they fucking smoke crack, and the crack smoke gets stuck to all the uh, electrical components. Is that one? Is that one working? No. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. Yes. No. It's just my head. I can hear it. Yeah. In my own head. Oh yeah. well, yeah, that's usually how hearing yeah, works. Yeah, no, but that, 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 but it's just me talking. Yeah, you, really? you can't hear yeah. me. No, I can't hear anything. Oh, it that's weird. Really oh, okay. Okay. Sorry, Phoneless. Guys. Nice. I mean, you, you know can still have yours on. No, no. And then no. I'll be like, it's like I'm talking to an alien. <laughs> <laughs> it has to go through a translator. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, I'm just you're, interrogating you're, you. You're, you're speaking. You're speaking English, but in my headphones, it's like. <laughs> hey, puta, in the mon, I'm busy. Oh, so you? Yeah, you got it. The, the same alien I was referring to, like an illegal <laughs> yeah. alien. Yeah, the, Fili yeah. the yeah. Filipino, <laughs> the Filipino kind. <laughs> <laughs> the Filipino aliens, dude. <laughs> what the hell is going on? I put the I did. Uh, I've been doing that on. I I said that recently on stage. I was like, um, I hate Asian shit. I'm not like a big Asian person. Like I'm an Asian person, but I'm not into like Asian shit. I was like, I didn't identify with crazy rich Asians. I'm more of like a chill. Financially disadvantaged Asian, no more chill in dead Asian. Yeah, chill, <laughs> chill, poor Asian. Yeah. And I was like, I, I was like, uh, I hate Vietnamese people. We get it. Your parents own a nail shop, and you guys can all afford to drive a white Lexus. That doesn't change the fact that you sound like fucking aliens. Man, what the hell? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Yeah, yeah welcome. How, how'd they respond to that, Michael? Oh, they laughed. Oh, I bet. We're in Austin. Yeah, they love. True. They love racist that's shit. That's a good here. point. They love yellow on yellow crime. Do that dude. in Iowa. Let's see how it goes. Oh, yeah. They the, actually might love it more it, in Iowa, to be honest. It depends it, on which I part. I go to Iowa. It's all Vietnamese people. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't like this. What the hell? Oh, man. These are my favorite clips of your podcast. I've only seen your your, your podcast in clips. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, it, it is a lot of you just doing, hey, what the hell? <laughs> <You know? laughs> yeah, a lot of it is. <laughs> 
Oh yeah, so you, uh, yeah, the jig is up. It is just a racist. It's just voices. a racist podcast. <laughs> yeah, the, there, yeah. There's a there's a fourth R R three. It's it's hidden behind door number one. It's the Radio Ridley Radio racist radio. <laughs> but you got to fit a retarded in there yeah, somewhere yeah. too. Well, welcome to retarded radio. racist radio. <laughs> I'm your host, Michael Retarded Racist Ridley. And there it is. There it is. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Fucking... Now we got it. Now yeah, we well, got it. Welcome to racist radio. <laughs> Welcome, welcome to, to Racist Ridley's welcome Rapture. To, welcome to Racist Radio Racist. <laughs> what the fuck? It's crazy. There's too much R, dude. I don't it's a know lot the, of R. I don't know. I was yeah. high when I thought of the name. I just like R3. I think yeah. it's a good I think it's a good shorthand. Yeah. For like Robert Griffin the third. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Rob, yeah, yeah. Um He's R G three. You rode the hog here? I did. Oh what? yeah, the purple car. I got an E forty six. Oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I have an L S swapped E forty six. You gotta let me whip uh, that hoe. It's pretty great. Right now there's something wrong with it. What's uh wrong? it still drives. I don't know. When I'm on full throttle, it like vibrates somewhere along the drivetrain, I think. Mm. But me and Dean were in it, he felt it in his left cheek. I feel it in my right cheek, so that means it's probably between us. So there's <laughs> Thank uh, you. Go get your drive shaft balanced. It could be that. It could not be that. But it's only under throttle, and especially like heavy throttle. Drive shaft, maybe. Uh, have you checked the mounts? Could be the Guibo. This is going to be the. This Look, is going to be a car podcast. Prob- this is the problem. We, we're both this car is the guys. Problem with it. We're going to get to the electric hog here just a little bit. And no, that's not a double entendre for a dildo. Yeah, uh, it could be. It is. It could be. Uh, that's what I call mine. Wow, <laughs> mine's gas powered, dude. Just full on diesel, man. You plug this thing in, it'll run for hours. It reminds me of the, <laughs> when you go to the sex shop in San Andreas. They had the chainsaw model from Vice City, but they put a giant dildo on the end of it. I don't oh, know. I like that. <laughs> Yeah, it's literally like yeah, a fucking like chainsaw with a fucking yeah. Jonathan on the front yeah. of it, dude. A Jonathan, boy. <laughs> when was the last time you heard a dick called a Johnny? <laughs> Everything's a Johnny, dude. A Johnny. Really? I, yeah, right. I, I call everything a Johnny, dude. Whoa. Yeah, but why is your Johnny vibrating under throt? Oh, right. Uh, full throt. Yeah. <laughs> Just fully, fully, full throt, what the dude. Fuck? <laughs> full throt. <laughs> I'm full throt, dude. It's it's vibrating. Uh, I don't know, but it still drives. I, I uh, I drive it to the car wash uh, nice. about once a week and yeah. just get it wa- uh, hand washed. Have you noticed there. there are like no cars in Austin? Like there are cars, but the cars that are here, it's like fucking. It's a Mazda six with taped on spoiler. Or like cool it's cars, a, you mean? Yeah, it's a, it's a Mazda six with a taped on spoiler. Or it's, or it's a fucking Lambo. Right. Yeah, there's no right. like middle of the road like your shit, like a fucking LS powered yeah. BMW. Like just like actual car enthusiast cars, I haven't seen many. So. Uh, I have noticed this as well, uh, more so than I was expecting because it's Texas. Yeah, and I thought there'd think be Texas, more. Texas, there'd be so much here. Um, what I have found is more. Here's what I think it is. Burp first. Cut that out. Leave it in. Here's what I. It's it's well. We're, that burp was sponsored by Liquid Death Sparkling Water. <laughs> uh, the problem is, or here's what I had heard. And, and this is how I kind of draw my distinction here is that in California, it's a lot of car shows that you go to. Mm-hmm. Not a lot of these cars are being driven or they're going on cruises. Mm-hmm. Uh, in Texas, a lot of people are going to events. They're going to tracks and they're like actual driving their cars. So their cars are shit boxes because yeah. they're actually driving them. And that's not mm-hmm. something you would take on the street. That's what I'm assuming. And it kind of feels like uh, because there's a huge car culture here. Uh, mm-hmm. But it's it. But it's from what I have found. It is. It's. It's the kind that I identify with. It's at a. It's at the appropriate venue for that. It's not these fucking d- d- dipshit street takeovers. I hate that stuff. I, I truly. I, it pisses me off. It's a bad look, uh, and it's always fucking douchebags and dodges. Like your car is four doors. Your car sucks, dude. Yeah. It's a four door muscle car. You f- weak little pussy bitch. Get a fucking two door car like an adult with a manual transmission. With a yeah, you fucking. F- <laughs> I'm gonna get so uh, mad. Hey, hey, bro, what we doing this weekend? Oh, we're turning the traction control off and we're killing four people. It's so <laughs> stupid. Yeah, because they'll do. So what they do is they shut down an intersection and then they'll do donuts. But everyone's standing in the center, right? And then somebody inevitably. will inevitably somebody will crash, and then somebody pulls out a gun. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Like, oh. That's how it typically ends. Yeah. Uh, it either ends cops with a, come or a gun gets pulled. Somebody has to die. It's like a sacrificial thing. Yeah. It's weird. <laughs> I worked it's a weird with fight club for you cars. Wanna, you 
want to hear something that will infuriate you? I used to work with a girl. She went to a takeover. She got hit by a car. And then she, when the cops showed up, she pressed charges on the guy that hit her with her car. <laughs> Brother, if you go to a takeover, yeah. it's like ri- That's on it's you, an dog. unwritten law. Like that, like you can't go to a skate park, eat shit, and then sue the, the city. city. Right? You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like you went to a fucking place where people who can't drive are doing donuts. Yeah. Yeah. Where it's like a, you- <laughs> imagine a car meet where everyone parks in a circle, and then one guy that cannot do a donut tries to do a donut, yeah. and then he inevitably hits a really nice car. Yeah. And then the owner of that car pulls a gun out and starts shooting that guy. Mind you. There's also a concert amount of people surrounding it. Go to Reddit, type in takeover on oh, Reddit. Oh, he did go to Reddit. Well, he knows your he knows exactly what you want. Yeah, it's NSFW, of course, because of course somebody gets hit. So yeah, these are base this is basically what happens at these events. And it's There's it, so many cars around it, which or like people there. Like these events are fun until this stuff starts happening. Yeah. Uh because it there are a lot of cool cars. It is cool to kind of see this like spontaneous uh this this Mercedes is gonna fucking blow it i already know it yeah this is the this is my favorite part of the car meet the rollout <laughs> when they leave <laughs> Wait, oh whoa no. thank you for pulling that away in Yowza. time jesus christ Good brother god and then the worst part is is like hit pause on this video this is all right so th- i've seen so many of these we're not going to show it but at this point this guy's going to walk up to the people that got hit and it's just going to be people in the ground like uh, 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 like in shock, like that's why it's NSFW because Have you it's literally this video gore. Before? No, but I've seen it a million yeah. times before already. I've seen there's a guy who's right gonna like M3, and then there will be a GoFundMe in two weeks of a dude who's permanently in a wheelchair because he loves cars. And my <laughs> thing is, is like, dude, if you want to slide. Go to fucking, dude. Uh, Go in, to a track! In in Texas especially, they have U.S. Drift here in Texas. It's like one of the biggest fucking uh, drifting, you know, conglomerates or whatever, a yeah, group of people who set up events. Literally go buy a fucking, go buy a $7,000 FRS, weld the differential, yeah, and then buy a fucking DOT helmet in a in a harness, and you're ready to go, dude. Get a seat. Get I mean, a maybe harness. We, like maybe we, like like we don't need to go. P- people getting hit at car meets. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, we could just. Yeah, maybe, yeah. I think we, our our mind can have benefit of the doubt there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You could type in. You could type in. Uh, type in street takeover. Yeah, street takeover. Street is what we're takeover talking about. is what. Yeah. Here's the thing, though. I'm so. Uh, I'm so anti takeover. Anti takeover <laughs> and like, if you're gonna be doing this kind of stuff and you want to be a, a a pro driver, then go. Go to a track. It's so much more fun. If you yeah. want to watch this happen, you got. I mean, like you said, this is on you. Right. If you're, if you're there and someone hits you, that's on you. If you want right. to go see it done correctly, go to one of the hundred events that are you know happening in your area right. that are at a track with walls that you can safely watch from. Right. Uh, but. Right. Well, I mean, at that point, street takeover devolves into a literal war zone. I'm in. <laughs> I'm that's in. usually how it goes, dude. So we got a Dodge, of course, and we have a Camaro. All right, old Camaro. It's probably like a what is this? Like a '90s Camaro, early 2000s. That real pointy one looks like an arrow, and then a new Dodge, because he is unoriginal. What are you I air dropped. I air dropped Taylor a video of me doing some street takeover shit. I've been a street. Oh. Dri- I, well, here's the thing. I've been. A, I don't do. So I'm I talking to the enemy. No, I don't do takeovers. I don't do takeovers. I'm a street drifter. It's different. It's like late at street night. Street drifter. It's, it's only me. It's like three in the morning. I'm drunk. <laughs> 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 Back in my drinking days, dude. I was just. Are these people about to fight? Because they hit each other. Yeah. Oh yeah. She bro. Yes. She yeah. bro. Oh, oh yeah. Yep. And then yeah, you crash and everyone jumps on your car and starts smashing your mirrors and your windshield and all this shit. Oh, there's the gunfire. <laughs> I don't have any audio here, so I'm just assuming this is. What's oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're yeah, they're, that's wild. Yeah, it always you know the events over when you hear the when guns. You hear the gun. yeah, 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 the yeah. guns. Am it's I, like the it's like the starting. It's like the opposite of a starting whistle. It's the finish. It's the yeah, finish the gun. Finish gun. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's the finish gun. Dude. It's pretty bad, but like um. I don't know, dude. I'm all about like, hey, you wanna you wanna go slide your car? It's three in the morning in an abandoned parking lot, an sure. abandoned building. That's how you sure. do it. You know what Absolutely. I mean? Your buddy, your it's you and a couple of friends, like yeah. three or four people late at night, and then you know you guys all follow each other. You turn your headlights off, and one dude just all right does his shit. Okay, you get in your car, you do your shit, and then you know I've stood in the center of, I've had people, my buddy Ronnie, he used to have a uh, oh big Ron. Uh, Little Ronnie. Little Ronnie. He's actually Little Ronnie is L-Ron. what he was known. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, he's a. <laughs> Why is there always a bigger little attached to the dog? <laughs> this kid, no, nah, this kid rules, man. He's like one of this dude rules. He's one of my boys, Ronnie O'Neill. He oh, was baby a, Ron, he, huh? Yeah, little Ronnie, dude. <laughs> baby Ron, dude. Little B Ron, dude. Little Bronski, dude. <laughs> Fucking, his parents took him out of school. Uh-huh. He became a pro skateboarder because he's so small. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Vert. He yeah, was yeah, either yeah. that or jockey. Yeah, 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 yeah. He would do. He was vert. He was a vert skater too. Yeah. He was a vert Half-pipe. skater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bowls, all that shit. And then he fucking got into drifting. <laughs> and this dude fucking this dude builds the craziest cars. Well, I well, we worked at a body shop together, and he built. Uh, uh, go on Instagram. We're gonna we're gonna fucking peruse Ronnie's crazy yeah, cars. Instagram. I want you to see his. Oh, I want you to see his vet. What do I type in? Uh, poop coop. Here's my little poop coop. My little poop uh, Have you coop. heard of Ari and Cars? You ever heard of him? Ari, Ari and Cars. Cars yeah. AC. He's out, out in L.A. He has a uh, he's a uh, a professional drifter. Yeah. And he's got some dope M4s. And I went to one of his meets. And yeah. Started up in Angela's Crest. Uh, I went up there to run to do donuts in my Z3 and get video. Yeah. And as soon as I set up my cameras. I'm talking like 60, 80 cars just pull up on me, oh, maybe shit. more. And then, I mean, it's it's hundreds of people that Watching are there. Watching you? Uh, no, like they all started to park around it and leave like a space for it. So I backed out like into a spot because I was afraid I was going to break something. I didn't want to do it in mm-hmm. public like that. Uh, and I don't have enough experience doing it to go run like fucking r- send donuts with a bunch of people in cars around. I'm smart enough to know I don't know how to do that. To the confidence level that I would need to not total someone's fucking car. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you think when you're going to a wall that you need to pull off the fucking gas and no, hit the brakes. You actually no. have to, it's the exact you opposite. Have you have to send more. it. You have to so gas more. You can more. whip it so you yeah. don't hit it. And that's what I think people, it's just an opposite feeling mm-hmm. that you that you have to be so used to that in a split second you have to know that you're going to make that's the right decision. So, that's why so many people crash. It's because it's go turn right to go left. Uh huh. And it's gas to not crash. It's gas to, yeah. It's, <laughs> gas yeah. to not crash. The harder you're hitting it, the more wheel speed you have, the less traction you have. And which it'll... Is wh- which is why it's going to whip around. As soon as you pull off, that traction unit will hit. That traction re-engages. With you, super you... sticky tires now. You just heated the fuck out of them, so they're as sticky as they're going to get. That's uh, why everybody crashes their Mustangs, because they let off the gas, and then yeah. it fucking goes into the crowd. Yep. That's why the Mustang is Mustang like, and Dodges, dude. Yeah, they always let off the gas, because yeah. they get nervous, and they don't know to drive. Because, yeah. Well, well, I started with small cars, slow cars. I started with like Miatas. Miatas. Yeah, yeah. I started with yeah. Miatas. So you learn how to drive a slow car fast. Sure. And then I can drive. I can drive anything now. That's how you got to learn. You, yeah, because I've driven, you know, a ninety-eight horsepower car to the like to the fucking brink. You know what I mean? And I, that's just going uphill straight away. That, yeah, that's what yeah. the brink of a ninety-eight horsepower <laughs> fucking car is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but the point of that Aryan cars thing was was he did it, he almost had permits for this shit. When we went from that 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 location, then we drove like fifty minutes away down. Down to this location in Culver City, maybe maybe longer. That was like this business uh, park almost that had a cool nine, like ninety-ish degree turn that was really wide at the mm-hmm. bent, like at the elbow. And everyone parked and lined up their cars. There was like security cars that had lights on that were like blocked off this little unit. It was out of the way of everybody, uh, but all the people were there, assuming their own, you know, liability. And Ari and his buddy sent like. Like, you know, probably 10, 15 different runs. It was awesome to see. And then other people started doing it. They, they He got out and was like, y'all try it. And then a couple people started trying it. And then it started getting like, oh, this is going to get dangerous. Mm-hmm. And right when I thought this is going to start getting dangerous because there was a car that had spun out and a car coming in didn't see it. Uh, and it was it. And then it's about five minutes after that, cops came, quote, and broke it up. I had to jump my car mm. because my car died. Nothing like that. nothing like everyone being like cops are here, cops are here, and you're just holding jumper cables up like <laughs> the cop. Dude, I swear to God, the cop was parked in front of me, and this is in California with my LS Swap Z3. This is a very illegal car. car there especially nothing, in California. Nothing on that car is legal. I have a license plate from New York. I have uh, uh, no registration on it. the 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 car was expunged from New York's system mm. because it hasn't been registered in. 12 years. Yeah. And then uh, I have insurance, yes, but uh, it's an LS swap. It's everything is it, yeah, everything they, is illegal about yeah, it. Yeah, all state doesn't know that it has 500 horsepower it, right. in it. 
Right. When it was made to have 198 horsepower. <laughs> yeah. Then the cop was like, you need some help with that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was trying to jumpstart my at, car. Look at my buddy's vet, dude. Uh, that is, what Click, is that, a C6? Uh, C5. C5? Yeah, that's like the new cheap car. Click uh, Yeah, click that one that you're floating over, Taylor. This one? Yeah, yeah, that yeah, one. Yes, it is. I do know this right now. Uh, that's the LS1. Uh... Look at that. Me, so I do a car podcast. Here's my plug. Right. I like that wide body. Yeah, it's uh, so it, they're carbon rear fenders, the carbon oh, quarter cool. panels that were painted purple. And then do you have to but, extend the whole rear end of it too to fit it, or does it does it does it pull back to the to the factory trunk width? Uh, I'm not sure. I think that they're just over because with the way the vet is, is like it all comes off in panels. Uh, it's like. Because so the, vet, the vet is just a tub. The vet's yeah. just a tub, so he just un, you can unbolt the quarter panels and bolt because it's all fiberglass. Mm -hmm. So he just put. So the cool thing about those rear quarters is like they're carbon, right? But when he painted it, they dusted the purple over the carbon just enough so that That's you cool. could see like you could carbon. see carbon through the purple. That's cool. Yeah, so it looks a little lighter in that. Go to another hit right. Yeah, this is my, yeah. This thing is fucking. That's fucking bad. Yeah, Japanese wheels on a fucking American car. It's like my favorite. I'm sure I love you that. would love that. I love like yeah. Japanese three piece wheels on an American car. Oh yeah, and he, he does a bunch of crazy shit. Yeah, there's his Where IS. Those original wheels, those were in the middle. There's his one of his G30. Uh, he had a G35. One down one more. Yeah. Those are AVS model V's, I think. What is that? It's a monoblock like just 18 inch Japanese wheel. Okay. What car is that though? That's an that IS. Like an that's an IS 300. Oh, it's is a, that a Lexus? Yeah. yeah, it's a Lexus IS. Is that a 2 JZ in the IS 300? Th yes. Yeah. Very underrated car. Yeah. Well, the, most of them came automatic. I just saw one at the yeah. gas station across the street. The manual looks sick though, with that round knob. Yeah, yeah. That, yeah. Like the the round shift knob. Yeah, that's that's little Ronnie right there. Yeah, he he slides too. He had a S, he has a S fourteen that he drifts. Yeah, we talked about this on uh, Broke Down Garage, my podcast. Go listen to it. Yeah, uh, go listen with to Jake Spot. Becker uh, and me. And uh, he is uh, he and I talk about like undervalued cars right now, overvalued mm -hmm. cars, stuff like that. Occasionally, it's really like a history. Of car of like the of like automotive. Oh man, shit. I'd love to come. Dude's do that. a fucking like he's autistic. I think when it comes to cars, but uh, he uh, and oh, I, I found out the title for this episode: comedians in cars with autism. <laughs> <laughs> comedians in cars catching autism. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> catching tism. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. He 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 and I talked about this last week uh, about the C five. That that's just a real like like you can get them for like ten grand right now. I don't 10, even yeah. Grand. I don't even want them like. I'm like looking on Marketplace every day for a Miata, and it's like, yeah, I could have a Miata or I could have a fucking C5 Corvette. It's, and there's no, like, that's going to be the new Miata. Like, there's going to be yeah, like an it old is, It is series, right now because, because Miata's in Texas, at least in Austin, a halfway decent one, you're looking at eight to $12,000. Because they're small and fit everywhere? Well, they're also, well, they're all just dog shit. Oh. It's all dog shit. Yeah. Here. You know, you've seen the cars here. Nobody takes care of them. Nobody, well, it's, you know, also Texas, there's not an abundance of them. So they're yeah. not cheap. Yeah. Because in Texas, I picture Texas in the early 2000s going, yeah, that's a gay ass car. <laughs> dude. That's, gay, that's a fucking gay ass car, dude. I ain't buying that gay. shit. Everyone who did have them, they're in junkyards. They got hit once by somebody with a big ass truck. <laughs> so now they're all in junkyards. And then all the, ones that survived are fucking 184,000 miles and the guy wants 10 grand for it and it's faded and has hail damage and I'm like go for fuck the yourself. For the Miatas? Yes, yeah. dude. They're dog I bet shit. there's a shitload of vets but then, down here. Then there's a super of, clear, yeah, yeah, there's so many vets here and they're such so cheap. That's what I have to think. Vets, yeah. yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm like, oh, that was their Miatas. Like, oh yeah, I want I want a little sports car. Now, while we, while we, while we, while we're talking about the C5 and it is a good value for the car right now, uh, uh, he would actually. You shut the fuck up. I needed to shit. How dare you, dude? Well, I may have to take this call, uh, with this manager in a second. Okay, yeah, we can uh, hit pause if you need to. Okay, I'm sorry about this. No, you're fine. We have like digital cutaways and stuff. We actually ruined it by telling them, but you know what I mean. I could have been like, oh, you need to go to the bathroom. Yeah, like, we could have showed. Yeah, maybe it. we'll say that. Yeah, okay, yeah. Then we'll just keep going. <laughs> just let me know when you have to pee, and I'll let you pee. Deal. Uh, that the C6 with the LS3. Is, C6. That's the one. That's yeah, yeah, the yeah. one you want to get. Yeah, C6. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I just want to C5 because pop ups in the Z06. 
with the fucking the, the oh yeah. I don't like those. Well, you don't like that? No, I, I like the way. It I've looks. never liked pop ups. That is a JDM thing. I feel like though. yeah. I like the pop up uh, headlights. I have not liked. I, I want I like a those. C5 with pop up headlights, and then I want to put Japanese wheels on it and slam okay, it. Okay, that's fun. And an angle kit. How reliable are those pop-ups? Is this what you normally talk about? Because I could keep talking cars if you want. I already had no, a car podcast today, so we, we don't can... have to. No, okay. no, I don't usually. This is my actually like my first uh, episode of R three where I actually have somebody who's competent and knows cars like that. Okay, just check in. Yeah, this. Well, is Jake first makes call. me look unknowledgeable. He makes oh, me yeah. look dumb. He 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 knows so much about it. I, it I was just, my life for so long, dude. I I just think that uh, that. The more mechanics for dumb shit like that that have to be turned on all the time, like mm-hmm. that are being used all the time. Like, I th- think about this with my Acura. I-, I have an MDX, and the steering column goes up and telescopes in every like time you-, you turn it on. It's cool, but it's sh- that's a piece of equipment that's being used every single time the car turns on and off, twice. Mm-hmm. Every time it's got a round trip. And I think that's just over the years that's going to go out. How much is that going to fucking cost to fix the the? Oh, it's a it's a death sentence. It's right. So like these are features that these are features that on the lot you're like, <laughs> how nice, yeah, yeah. But I'm not so fat I can't get out from behind my steering wheel. And then seven grand, a seven grand repair bill in some fucking asshole in a polo. Going, right. Yeah. So do you want us to go ahead and get started? Right. Or, and then you're like, fuck this, I can't afford that. Well, here, let me get you over to our used right. car department. Maybe we can figure something out with a trade-in value. So how much and are those pop-up lights going to cost you? The pop-up lights? Yeah, like when that shit gets stuck open or closed, how much is that shit going to cost you? A ton. I'm, all I'm saying is that it's just, Usually I just hate drop shit like that. Like no, I still no, think no, no, that no, no, the no, no, C5 no. is fun, LS1 is great, the LS3 is better. Uh, I, I, it's, I believe it's an iron block. What I've learned is I've rear-ended somebody, and then like I'm not you know body repair yeah, smart enough, savvy enough. Yeah, I had them. I I dropped new headlights in, and then I pulled the radiator support and I fixed the front end, and then I put new headlights in, and then afterwards my head my my car had <laughs> down syndrome eyes, so I just like it had a lazy eye, what, a I lazy light. Had, yeah, but they had knobs, so I would just hand crank them and measure them and make them look even, okay. and they were fine. And yeah. I just left them up all the time. But why they? This is why they got fucking. Uh, they discontinued them. The uh, Nitsa or whatever discontinued uh. pop ups. They were uh, when you hit somebody, like when you hit a pedestrian, like in those takeovers, uh-huh. it was dismembering people. Yes. <laughs> so, the, so like when you'd hit somebody with a Miata, you were like cutting their leg off. Wow. Yeah. Or like decap people were getting decapitated in the event of hitting a pedestrian. That's wild. And the car is so low. Why this, do you know this? Because I love pop ups, and I looked up why they were banned, uh-huh. and it's dismemberment. <laughs> So if you think a Miata's gay, dude, think again, dude. I'll cut your fucking... <laughs> That's as I'll, gnarly as it fucking gets. I'm going to cut... The, dude, the Miata's pretty metal. Or anything with pop-ups is uh, pretty fucking brutal. I'm cutting your fucking head off, and I'm playing job for a cowboy on my stereo. <laughs> It's pretty. Uh, it's pretty metal, dude. It's pretty badass. Here, pretty Taylor, show, you want to... Dun, 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 <laughs> No, you're supposed to do the girl scream. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> now we're back to the Radio Ridley hour. Oh yeah. Oh, show him. I, show I him that video I more, dropped I, you. I don't know shit about cars. Oh, no, that's all right. We can talk about other stuff. Show him that video I sent you. Yeah, we'll we'll end the car segment of the podcast with the video that I airdropped Taylor. I do. So I'm gonna build a Deuce Coupe. I think. Uh, what is that? Uh, uh, like a 1932 Ford two door into with a, a drift toilet car. with a toilet for a driver's seat. Basically, <laughs> Deuce Coupe. Uh-huh. <laughs> you got fun. it. <laughs> Just. <laughs> Taking a shit in my bucket. Did you get the video that I sent you? No. Get the oh. video that he sent us. Here, I have it right here. I don't know where. It's. All I want to do is just is put LS motors or just in one? everything. It's just one video I sent you. Okay. What'd you say? All I want to do is put LS motors in everything. What I need to do is either fix or sell my Z3. It, it's fixed. It drives, but there's some things that I would want changed to it. Yeah, you being a BMW uh, enthusiast, I always respect the BMW enthusiast because, brother, I could not. I, I want I want an E30, I want an E36, but all the ones that I want are junk. Yeah. E36, I hear, is notoriously junk. Like, the fucking the well, the, door like, panels oh, come like, off. The like, plastics, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the plastic, the insides are junk. Like, you open the door, and then the door panel's still in the door sill. I've yeah. seen videos in that where you, like, you open the door, the door panel That's breaks off, funny. and then you're just trapped in your car with the door That's panel and stuck in the door jam. I don't have so that. So this is, uh, here, I'll show you this. For a little bit of prefacing, I'm eight white claws deep. Love this. Uh, 100 milligram edible. Love this. New Year's Eve. Love this. Uh, 1994 Mazda Miata with a limited slip differential. Welded. 
Oh, 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 oh just, yeah, yeah, this is. Okay. I bought this car from an old guy for three thousand dollars. It was track ready. It only had one hundred and forty k on it. Okay, and I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna try to fix those headphones. Uh, on, yeah, on, well, on, on on the pee break. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, when you go cool. pee, we'll fix those headphones. But yeah, this is a video of me uh, absolutely trashed, and this is the most takeover shit I've ever done in my life. So go ahead and let it run. I wish you could hear the audio, but I, you could just hear that throttle control, dude. Your boy was getting it, dude. Pretty good looking. I miss that car so fucking much, dude. See, here's the <laughs> that trick. That was such a good deal. I sold that car for seven grand. I sold the hardtop for two, and I hit a deer, and they paid me five grand, and then I moved to Austin. Oh, I made a, so much money off that car. That's a pretty good deal car. off that car. Yeah, I put Haggerty's classic car insurance on it. I put Haggerty's on all my shit. You should put Haggerty's. They have track car insurance, too. Yeah, Haggerty's is kind of expensive. I think it's like two, twenty two hundred bucks. Jeez. For what I'm like per year for what I'm trying to get. Agreed value. Uh, I did fifteen thousand dollars agreed value. Oh, on I'm that doing car. agreed value like seventy. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Mine was ninety bucks a month. Because mine cost me forty thousand dollars to build when I was all done. Yeah. So my car was, you know, I bought it for three grand, but I could sell that car, you know, fifteen K. Yeah. And at that time period. It was like fresh off of COVID. Like that thing was fucking clean as fuck. The guy didn't it was literally like I opened Craigslist and it was like posted 30 minutes ago. I called him. Yeah. I told my wife that we were gonna go get Buy that car. A Miata. <laughs> yeah, I was like, hey, I know that uh, we already have two Miatas, but I gotta get this one. And I sh we pulled up. He wanted seven grand for it. We drove it. The suspension was blown and the motor was smoking. And I was like, of course, a fucking motor smoking. It's oh, they always smoke. I can't find a car. I can't find a Miata that doesn't smoke. I was like, buddy, this thing is smoking. I can smell it. And we were bouncing up and down the street. Honestly, the best I can do for this car is 3500 And I was ready to walk away. I'm like, oh, he's not going to take this. And he goes, yeah, I'll take the post off right now. Go get the money. I was like, all right, cool. I'm, I'm going to go get the money. I swipe her card. I swipe my card. We have joint cards, but they have like two grand limits on them. Sure. So I'm like at the ATM. I'm like, all right, take two out of here. <laughs> take 15 out of there. And then we come back, and I drive that motherfucker home, and it was the nicest fucking Miata I've ever had. And uh, uh, what did you do about the smoking engine? Top you just kept it driving off. it smoking? Just top it off. Yeah. It's just it, any old Mazda, you just... That's what I do with my van. My uh, I got a 5.7 Vortec in this uh, 2002 a, a, a Chevy Express. Old, like, yeah, yeah, van. yeah. I used to do oil changes on those. Yeah, I do. I put in diesel oil in there because mm. it's got all these additives in there and shit. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. But it is... It chew, it what, chews. the shell? The shell diesel yeah, oil? Rotella. What's this? Rotella. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Rotella. Yeah, 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 dude. That's I use that. Big, yeah, everybody in the Miata community loves uh, Brotella, Rotella T6. It's That's like a the good car mode. community. I use the uh, full synthetic instead of the T6. I think it's the T8. Um, but it is... Uh, uh, I put that shit in my in my I put BMWs. that shit in everything. I put it in every V8 that I own. Yeah. Yeah. It's my, righteous. There you go. Well, do you need to go take a pee? Yeah. I'm going to go, go pee real quick. All right. Go take a pee. I'm going to go pee. All right, guys. Give me a second. I'm going to go wipe my forehead. I'm sweating my ass Yeah. Off. Why are you so hot? Because I have headphones on. Do I make on. you nervous? No. I just have a sweating condition. That's why my Instagram I am is chinky so sweat. sweaty all the time, and mm. I don't know how I'm doing better than you. I think I'm getting used to this Texas place. No, it's it's only I only sweat from my head. Yeah, like a little the rest bitch. of my body is dry. It's just my head. I always look nervous. Yeah, I always look like a little bitch. I always look like a little sweaty boy bitch. Okay, now here's the deal though. If I'm gonna go pee, yeah, when, when, when we come back, no more car talk. Yeah, we're done with cars. Cause I, cause now I'm just gonna have two car podcasts in a day. That's, yeah, cause we already did like 30 minutes. It's a cars. lot of car talk. Yeah, it is. A We've lot. already lost 50 of your hundred. Yeah, cause they don't know shit about cars. Yeah. All right, go He's pee. still stuck on this call. And we're back. Uh, <sighs> <ooh. laughs> <laughs> hey, you want to hear my newest joke, which is super stupid, but your <laughs> but your sound re it reminded me of. Uh, oh yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, so so, do you think like a, ma a man's version of astrology? You know, like uh -huh. like chicks, like what's your sign? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you think a dude's version of astrology is a uh, hey, what Ninja Turtle were you? <laughs> <laughs> dude, dude, Mikey. <laughs> I'm just so chill, and I love the skateboard and pizza. How are you not, Mike? Hey, we're all we all want to be Mike. If Everybody you're fucking Donatello, Mikey. you're a nerd. You're fucking, you're a fucking nerd. You fucking homo. Yeah, yeah. You and if you're Raphael, you have a fucking anger problem. Yeah. So you, we need to check you. And if you're the other one, you're a closeted gay guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
yeah. What's yeah. the other one? Leonardo. <laughs> yeah, Leo! Le- uh, Homo. Homonardo. I, I, th- <laughs> I think... Uh, Gay, Gay Ninja Turtles <laughs> is so fucking funny, dude. <laughs> what, 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 like one gay of Splinter? A, yeah. Everyone's just gay in their name. It's yeah, just yeah. Gay Shredder. G- <laughs> TMNT 2025. Every, all, the t- all the fucking turtles are gay, dude. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Squirtles, dude. They're fucking gay. Home dude's got a... Instead of nunchucks, it's just two black cocks on a chain. <laughs> <laughs> the other one's just out of... What was the one with the stick, Donatello? Uh, yeah, Donatello. It's just a big dick. It's just a huge double into dildo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Shredder was pretty zesty, honestly. Yeah, like, dude. Like, the way Shredder dressed was, like, pretty... Shredder uh, Shredder for sure Shredder, had some secrets he was he was yeah, hiding. Yeah, was Shredder, Shredder is just RuPaul. <laughs> <laughs> just, uh, <laughs> just an so army... Sure of, was. Just an army of gay dudes. Uh, Sashay away. Yeah. D- yeah, just an army of the Foot Clan. He was the original OnlyFans. Yeah, the, you know the the Foot Fetish Clan. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> just a bunch of sweaty straight nerds. <laughs> Shredder booty shreddered. <laughs> his name's his name. No, 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 no. Booty splinter is <laughs> yeah. what is what is what that would be. I think. Look, yeah. look how zesty that outfit. Look is. at those Come muscles on, that don't. It looks like he's threaded. Like he like he's a rope. Yeah. It doesn't look real. It doesn't even look. Also, w- those uh, shoulder pads. I don't. What kind? Of, like he has like f- six, six different blades on them. Yeah, he looks like the gay member of Guar. Who? Yeah. <laughs> He's dressed like a dominatrix. Who? <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, and his little dildo stick on the end there. Yeah, he's gonna yeah, use yeah. that to just fucking. This yeah, is he's full gonna of ram GHB, you. Whatever this is. Yeah. G- yeah. <laughs> GHB. It's called T Girl. Yeah. Uh, what the fuck? Uh, who else? What's that guy with the hockey mask? Uh, what was his name? In the Casey live action Jones. one? Yeah, yeah. Casey Anthony. Casey so- Anthony. Casey <laughs> Anthony. <laughs> Yo, chill with the gay turtles. <laughs> oh, we're not the first one to think of this. Okay. Happy Pride Month, Happy y'all. Happy Pride. Gay Teenage Mutant Ninja. You know what's funny about the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? If you look at their chest, it looks like two dicks tied together. Go to the go go to go to. Yeah, I might have to see this. Yeah, uh, type in Ninja Turtles T-shirt. I don't chest plate. Yeah, there it is. That first one right there, top left. Looks like two dicks tied together. Let's see here. <laughs> Looks like two dicks tied together. Oh <laughs> lord, oh, vertical dicks. <laughs> Looks like two dicks. Oh. I like that it's. Donatello's. I was thinking like a space dock dick. Go like they two were going dicks tied together with the with the headband. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The only Travel. way we come is with friction. Travel buddies. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm not going anywhere without my <laughs> ear yeah, of course Go to Mikey's. Donatella. Mikey's is better. Because I remember I saw someone wearing the Mikey shirt and I was making... Yeah, there we go. <laughs> that looks extra... Like, w- like what's with the the, 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 the bottom of it, though? Yeah, it's like... Like, y- the, like the belt. It's so, like, sashayed. Yeah. Was, Mikey. Was Donatello's like that? I think so. I don't know. I... I just think it's I just think it's a weird design. Like I wouldn't want to wear like why are you buying that? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle costume. Yeah, do you like my logo? I do. Yeah, it's cool. Do you use Brave Browser? Is that what you use? No. You use Chrome? Chrome, Chrome it up, dude. Uh, Chrome is a Chrome is a is god that the, tier is browser. That the conservative browser. Yeah, dude. <laughs> All I do is get uh yeah. <laughs> it's pretty cool, dude. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> just Trump updates. Yeah, it's a bunch of it. It, it runs on crypto, actually. That's, <laughs> that's what I pay uh, for it for my VPN. Uh, no, it just makes it so I never have to watch ads on Pornhub. Nice. Mm, nice. Yeah, which I, we can't get Pornhub here in Texas. But yeah, this is for my out of Texas fans. Yeah, I uh, I just I don't. I have a new joke that Tell I've been me. doing. Uh, yeah, the, about about the porn ban. It's like a. Yeah, the Texas porn. Is it, is it you? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Before you tell me, let me guess. Is it you, just uh, just screaming on stage? No! <laughs> is that what it is? I feel like. <laughs> no. Dude, no. When I was visiting in California, though, dude, I was in my hotel room, just straight jorking my shit. For just four. downloading shit dude, from I was, screen recording, just leaving the hotel room, I got and screen ruined. recording it on on, on uh, autoplay. I got ruined, dude. I was. <laughs> really, you want to come out after the show tonight? And, I got uh, no. I got work to do. <laughs> yeah, I, I was. I was in the hotel room, just jorking my shit for four days in the Best Western on uh, Sunset. Sunset Boulevard. Shout out Best Western on Sunset Boulevard. 
Boulevard. They got good Sh- Wi-Fi. Shout out their cleaning lady. Yeah, yeah. Dude, after what I did, I left a dollar and eight cent tip. Hey, why don't you ever see cleaning men at hotel rooms? Because what? that's a job for women. Oh, it is, but I'm just curious. There's so many like, like also men, female men right now. Also, men suck at cleaning. As Another a man that cleans, do you, do you think a transgendered person is bad at cleaning? Like, still has the like the traits of their of their original assigned gender. Uh, Boy, you see how I skated around this real quick mm-hmm. and just really. Are are are, are we are, gonna have to cut this? Is this are, a terrible thing to bring up? No, 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 <laughs> I think no, you're no, on. You're something. on. You're on, Brand. <laughs> right? Because my cousin, she's transgender. Okay, uh, so you're you're vetted. You can talk. You yeah, can, you're an ally. Re- you have them. I yep. am an ally. Yep, I like her posts on Instagram. <laughs> Uh, uh <laughs> not every one of them, but like occasionally I'll throw one in there. Uh, the, like the ones yeah, where she's the, looking slutty, I'm like, I'm not gonna like this one because that's gonna look weird. Yeah. Uh, but the ones where she's fully dressed, this? my cousin. Oh, your cousin. Yeah, yeah. You have a trans cousin. I do. Nice. Uh, and this is hilarious. This is 100 percent true. When I met her <clears throat> for the first time, I knew, I knew my cousin until he was nine, maybe ten, and then like this, you know, life got in the way. Uh, and now she is in her mid twenties, right? Mm-hmm. Maybe early twenties, but still. Uh, and when she, when I first, the first time I meet her, uh, she, she, I, if, like with maybe the fifth word out of her mouth was this sentence of, "Well, I'm a tranny now." No, really. <laughs> Swear to God. Oh, so she's one of the good ones. Yeah, uh, I, I. Well, I think a tranny with a good sense of humor, like I, I like you. Here's yeah. the thing: I don't, I don't. <laughs> So what I'll he's like saying you. is comedy trumps all, is what he yeah, said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't hate... All right, for the record, I've said a lot of what would be considered transphobic shit on this podcast, which is fine. We're 40K in the hole. Nobody's watching. But I'll say this. I don't hate trans people. I understand, like, truly being yourself, and I get that. But... <laughs> I call bullshit. I call bullshit. I think it's an attention thing. I think I based think, off of her saying I'm a tranny now, I'm like, oh, this is like fun. Oh, for you're you. fun. This is yeah, you're like, having fun. You're on a side quest. <laughs> she yeah, got she got a... the state of New York to pay for her operation. Oh god damn it. How wild is that? That makes me mad. How wild right, that, that's, that's when why I, made, I like that's to include I... that because I don't want everyone to be thrilled. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not yeah, like, oh wait a minute, somebody paid. <laughs> That's crazy. Like, if you told our founding fathers, yeah, that's 40% taxes now. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they're also using the money to chop dicks off. That's it. What the hell? Oh, don't forget the new jawline. She has to have, like, an effeminate face. Oh, yeah, they have to fucking... Yeah, I think they take a mallet to the jaw. I don't know. Her face looked fucked up when (laughs) when she was fresh out of the the hospital. But the point of all this is, to get back to the point of this, is what's going to happen when our male pattern balding, which will come, yeah, (laughs) when when that comes... Yeah, why can't I get my plugs paid for is what you're trying to say. (laughs) Pay for yes. my plug. Yes, pay for me to go to... I'll go to Turkey. I identify... Don't go to Turkey. I identify I, as having hair. Yeah, yeah. Don't go to Turkey, though. You'll identify as having one kidney. <laughs> we go to Turkey, they fucking... <laughs> but I'll have all that little, hair, though. They'll do a little extra. That's why you get it for $3,000 all in. Yeah, because they're making seventeen off of your kidney. Of course. It's a good trade. I don't believe... I don't, <laughs> do I need both? Okay, another... What's on the outside is more important that's than what's right. on the inside. Yes. Since, all right, since we're talking about organs and shit right now... um. I'm not an organ donor, and I'm going to tell you right th- right now, they're going to be like, oh, Ridley, that's kind of a shitty thing to be. No, 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 no. I'm not an organ donor because I don't believe in organ donation. If everybody's paying, all these third world countries are paying top dollar for organs. I'm going to tell you right now, folks. When my I'm mom- giving that money to my family? Is that what you're what going I'm, with? It? Yes. <laughs> yes, I dude. I love this. When my, what a take. Yes. When my mom died, I got $20,000. Of the 500k that my stepdad got from the uh, life insurance uh-huh. company, they donated her organs. Brother, eye tissue is worth like 15, 20 grand an eye, and my mom was Asian, so those eyes were lightly used. Yeah, 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 because they're so small. They yeah, were lightly so used. Yeah, only yeah. about this much of them were yeah, used. Was very used moist. They, they they stayed marinated. It was <laughs> like she she had veal cutlet eyes. Yeah, yeah, is what she, she, had. Yeah, she had. Veal, she had veal eyes. She had premium. Asian eyes, <laughs> lightly used eye they tissue. They never saw the sun. Yeah, that's what, <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying is, it's like I got screwed over when my mom died. I should have been able to sell like her pieces. I should have been able to like the family should get the money for the organs that get sold. I don't hate this idea. I don't. I don't think it's a bad idea. You either. should write your congressman. I think there should be a whole industry of. <laughs> You tried to hold it in. I appreciate that. <laughs> you try, dude, I'm saying, like, you should have, like, you should. they should will your family member out and then 
you know, people just, can I get a five, 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 six, six, seven, seven, <laughs> seven, just auction off all the pieces individually. And then that and gets, they just burn the rest. Even, and give you and they, yeah, it all gets put. It all gets put in a CD. And all those kids have something when they turn twenty five. I can fix. I can fix most of the problems in our country, dude. Uh, if you get divorced, you're not. Divorce is not allowed anymore. Here's what's gonna be great: is there's gonna be like this. Like, what's gonna happen if that works? Which that that that, that what the work. organ donation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's what would happen: there would be a company that gets formed. Mm-hmm. That that then has all the bidding for you. It's like a Mesums of uh, or a Barrett Jacksons yeah, yeah, yeah. of 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 organs. We and, got a twenty seven t- year old African American <laughs> male, and <laughs> we are selling his cock right now. It is. <laughs> we'll start the bidding at five, five, five. Do I hear six, six, eighteen inch cock, folks? Eighteen inch cock. <laughs> Dude, think about think, and then and then they would take like 30 percent of the, and it, it would all get privatized so fast. Sold to the Mandingo cock yeah. collector in the back. Yeah. <laughs> It's just fucking a zesty ass gay dude drinking out of a wine glass. He's got fucking mm. cocks and jars at his house. That will look good on my mantle. Yeah, <laughs> is he th- smoking like a, a Cruella Deville type cigarette? <laughs> yeah, he has the cigarette on a stick, and he's just <laughs> yeah. Nah, see, he's fucking raising that little paddle. <laughs> just... but, but for some reason now, I'm imagining him looking like Danny DeVito's uh, uh, penguin. Yeah, is what I'm imagining. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, but I'm just imagining like. And he eats it. He eats it like those fish in the sardines. <laughs> Remember oh, the God. sardine video? <laughs> yeah. That scene is so grotesque, bro. Why did we have to see the penguin eat? It's all his teeth are all black and the sh- oh god, dude, fuck those Batman movies. Another movie where it's like, you remember the outfits? Do you remember the Batman and, and, and Robin and, outfits? Yeah. Well, they put nipples on the suit. Yeah. That was like- <laughs> That was my favorite. Well, well, Why did they put nipples well, on the suit? Well, here's what you didn't know about suit. that. The reason they put nipples on the suit uh, is because that was actually modeled directly after their nipples. So so you know how underwear now has like the ball holster? Uh, it was oh. a nipple holster because oh. their nipples were so huge. They yeah, had to yeah. keep those nips tough. Speaking of nipples, I got to go uh, lactate mine out. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, I'm going to go, go uh, milk mine, and then I'll be right back. All right, we'll yeah, right go back. milk those jugs. <laughs> Brent has to take a business call, but I'm going to extrapolate on my organ donation bit here. I don't think, here's the thing, I don't think that you, I don't, I think that you should be able to sell your family members' organs. You should be able to cash that in, dude. Here, like, uh, like, uh, oh, my mom had, my mom had breast implants. Those breast implants could have went to, you know, somebody that needed them, you know? Is there a market for used breast implants? Probably. Yeah, just take them out, break all the calcium off of them, and give them to somebody else. I was just thinking about your dad, like, you like that chair? <laughs> I bought it with your mother's eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And it's just like, yo, what the hell happened to Ridley? Oh, yeah, he just sold his mom's kidneys, dude. Yeah, he, yeah he's got a brain. Dude, dude is like... He's got one of those water jet packs. Have you seen this? Where'd Ridley get those shoes? I thought he was unemployed. Yeah. Why does Ridley always wear a monocle now? <laughs> Why is Ridley always wearing a full tuxedo? We're at Chick-fil-A. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, boys. The red lobster's on me. <laughs> Why is Ridley talking like a supervillain? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, yeah, did you did you hear that Ridley like built a bat cave? Where do you get the money for that? Oh, yeah, yeah, he donated his mom's lungs. He sold his mom's <laughs> lungs to a black guy in Brazil. It's like buying useless shit with your family's organ money. Yeah, I just think, I well, I think there's a better way of, you know, organs are worth money, and somebody in the medical industry tricked a bunch of gullible, sad people into just giving up this hot commodity. Like the shell, like the soul is gone, right? When somebody passes away, the soul is gone. You'll you'll notice this, like if 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 you've ever seen like a dead body, like when I was looking at my mom in the casket, it was weird because she looked like a mannequin because what made her her was no longer in there anymore. That's gone. So now it's just the corpse, dude. Divvy up that corpse. <laughs> Let's fucking chop her up in the little bits and sling it on the street. I know somebody needs that. And it, to me, it's like there's waiting lists, there's all that shit. We're putting too much control in the hands of these organ donation people that I feel like are inherently evil. Donate for life. It's so fucked. And the, the hospital, when my mom died, they gave me, here's the thing, they told me, like, uh, they gave me a donate for life, like, goodie bag. 
like a water bottle and like you know promotional shit. They gave me a they gave me a consolation prize of like promotional shit, like a water bottle, a keychain, a pin. I was like, fuck that, dude. I want the twenty fucking thousand dollars. Give me the sixty thousand dollars. Give me the whatever the fucking amount of money it is for her organs. Why the fuck am I getting this little dumbass little consolation like Cash me out. You're doing a good job. You did a great job. And it's like, yeah, of course. It's like when you it's like when you buy a car twenty thousand over sticker and they fucking give you the little Chevrolet hoodie and the fucking mug and the fucking <laughs> <laughs> It's like they give you thirty dollars worth of shit to make you feel good about getting fucked. Take thirty off the off the window. It just felt yeah, it just felt very uh it just felt very uh like time sherry. Mm-hmm. Like congratulations, you did a good thing. It's like no, dude, you guys are ripping me off. Like it took me years later. Years later, I realized I was like, I was looking up. Like we always talk about, oh, I would sell my left ball for, you know, I'd sell my, I'd sell my left nut to get this car, or like, oh man, looks like I'm gonna have to sell my kidneys to get a house or whatever. It's like, dude, what about Papa? What about Mima? <laughs> eye yeah. tissue. I didn't even know eye tissue was like recyclable. A commodity. You could put like people who lose their sight or whatever, they can get eye tissue transplants and then they can re they can resolder it. They can reconnect the donor eye tissue and then you can see again. That's beautiful, but also I need to get paid. Why the fuck did I just give that away? Why why is that like why are we conditioned It's crazy that people get over every scam that's ever existed was one guy rolling for charisma. He's like, mm? they rolled the charisma. It succeeded. And then they gaslit, in er- they gaslit everyone into thinking it's normal. Just like college. Every scam can be deduced to hmm? taxes, college, organ donation, buying a new car, buying a house. Everything, is, everything that feels like a scam started out as like a good deal. And then people got greedy, and they inched, and they inched, and they inched, and that's where we're at the current state of where things are. Everybody is so used to getting screwed over, and everybody has social anxiety. Nobody will speak up when they're obviously getting fucked over. Like, you go to a restaurant, and you wait 40 minutes, and you get burnt chicken tenders, and you're like, oh, it's going to take another 40 minutes if I don't say anything, so I'll just eat this. <laughs> Suck, dude. We're at Buffalo Wild Wings, dude. You deserve the best, baby. Uh uh, uh uh. Waiter! Waiter! Putting the Cat Williams voice on for that. Waiter, uh, excuse me. Excuse me, Deborah is your name? Yes. These motherfucking chicken tenders are burnt in a motherfucker. I need these motherfuckers sent back real quick. Tell the motherfuckers in the back to fix these motherfuckers right quick in this motherfucker. These chicken tenders is burnt, baby. And my lemon pepper is dry. I asked for lemon pepper wet specifically. I specifically, I specifically requested my lemon pepper wings be wet, baby. Wet. What y'all know about that? Y'all know nothing about that. Open up your ears, Sierra. I'm talking to you. Deborah, Sierra, whatever the fuck your name is. (laughs) You know what? Let me go back there. I'll fucking toss my own shit. That's an actual thing that happened. I asked for lemon pepper wet at a Buffalo Wild Wings, and this white waitress did not know what the hell I was talking about, brother. <laughs> now, it's 2024. Lemon pepper wet is is out there, and I blame uh, FX's Atlanta because I knew about lemon pepper wet, dude. I grew up in the hood. I had the wing. We had the wing spot, the mom and pop owned wing spot on the corner. Get you fucking twelve wings, eight ninety nine with a side of fries, and you get a little twelve ounce Pepsi with it. Mm. Yeah, Sounds every good. yeah, yeah, and it would be lemon pepper wet, and it's literally just lemon pepper seasoning on normal wings, with buffalo sauce, a mild buffalo sauce. You're not even supposed to taste. You're the taking spiciness. the dry, and you're and you're you're taking you're, the dry lemon pepper, and you're tossing it in the w- wet buff. In the wet buff. Wet buff, and then you dunk in, but the, blue, you, in the blue cheese. You also add, but you also add a little bit of butter to dilute that spiciness even more, so it's wet, wet. But you got to put it in some crunchy ass wings. I'm talking about some crunchy ass wings. Yo, drop a drop a comment below if you guys are familiar with the motherfucking uh, LPW dude, lemon pepper wet dude. It's it is uh simply LP dubs. Dude. LP dubs is the only way that I can eat wings. I. I Everyone's like, oh, dude, garlic parmesan. No, dude, I want my breath to smell like shit. I want flavor. Here's the thing. Garlic parm wings? Sheesh, brother. Oh, yeah. But I'm a comedian. 
I talk to a lot of people. I hate having bad breath, dude. Can't have it. I hate having some hot ass breath, boy. I've been leaving the house with some hot ass breath. <laughs> no, sir. No, sir. Just out there melting people's faces off, dude, with that hot ass breath, boy. I hate that, dude. I hate that. And it's always somebody who wants to talk to you a bunch. There's always somebody who's just fucking, dude. <laughs> Just a fucking venti yappuccino with extra hot <laughs> breath. A venti yappuccino with that hot ass breath, boy. God damn, I fucking. I remember, dude. I talked to this dude one time. I went home. I looked in the mirror. My goddamn eyelashes were gone, dude. I had no more eyelashes. My man talked my eyelashes off my face, dude. He talked the hair off my mole, dude. I had a bald mole after talking to that guy, dude. Good God Almighty. You notice how much it slowed down since we got rid of Brent? We should just cut him out. <laughs> Bye, Brent. I was gonna say it'll Bye, be. Bye, Brent. It'll be. It'll be funny to see the. Uh, oh my the comments god! Comments are like, dude, like at at thirty minutes when it turned into a episode of Radio Ridley. <laughs> they do, they love us, dude. They, yeah, they, yeah, they, they love us. They, they love the solos. They love. I you. really do love you guys, man. I really, I really genuinely do. Uh, just seeing all the comments, like the people being stoked to that again. Shout out to boy Clam. You can see what happens. He suggested a riff. I did the riff on the last episode. Show me the gothus. I fucking did, you know, I did the Jizzard of Austin, Texas. We made a new character. You know what I mean? If you guys want to make characters, you guys want to add to the show, please email us at radioridleyradio at gmail.com. You can literally help me morph the show. You can help me. This is like an interactive. Help us morph the show. It's an interactive podcast, you know, the likes of which we haven't seen, where you can, you know, you could submit. You know, nobody's doing this. Nobody in the podcast world is receiving emails. None of this. Nobody's doing so it like original. us. This is so original. This this is, we're trailblazing, all right? We're stepping into uncharted waters here, folks, and I'm, I'm grateful for you to join us in uh, quarter three. Uh, <laughs> to all my investors, don't worry, the money is coming. We're 40K. It's like that life selector porn. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Life <laughs> choose your selector. own adventure. Yeah, it's a choose your own adventure podcast where we can just, you know, we can be whatever you want to be. Yeah, we should do like a D&D bit. That would be funny. Would a be D&D D bit would be funny as fuck. It's like We got to get that thing for your car so we can do more cars, car stuff. Ridley on the road. Yeah, we got to do R3 on the road, dude. Ridley on the road. Ridley on the road, dude. We got some pretty we got some pretty exciting stuff to announce too. Oh yeah! Not on this episode. Not on this episode. On the next one, next week. Things are what are we coming? Things, th big things. What are we coming, dude? I'm a whizward. I'm a widow. Uh, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, I'm, I'm literally a, a riz lord, dude. And I've uh, been jorking. <laughs> been jorking. Just been getting torqued and jorked simultaneously for you know the last fifty one weeks. You know what I mean? And you know we're coming around on a year of jork versus uh, jelk and getting torqued. Honestly, I'm just. I'm grateful. I'm grateful for you guys. There's sometimes I don't want to do this. Let me be honest. I'm in the car. I'm in the car. Like today. I, I didn't want to do this today. Spoiler alert. I didn't feel like doing this today, dude. I was trying to I was trying to molest my wife while she works at home. Okay, that's what I do during the week. I wake up in the morning. Uh, I'm like, all right, time to go to the gym. I don't go to the gym. <laughs> I was gonna say. And then I make my wife some coffee and I kiss her on the forehead. And then I smell her hair, and I look down at her cleavage, and I slip my hands in there, and I go, woogity, 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 woogity. And then she goes, enough. And I go, oh, sorry. And then I play Overwatch for a couple of hours. <laughs> then I go in the bedroom, and I jork probably for like 30 minutes. I'll jork for about 30 minutes a day. Um, what else do I Just do? Just stronking it, dude. Just fucking stronking my strong. <laughs> I'm over here stroking my dick. I got lotion on my dick. I'm gonna call Taylor one day and be like, dude, I got lotion on my dick. I'm already stroking my fucking dick right now, dude. Don't what are you doing, dude? I'm gonna call you on the jerk. I'm gonna FaceTime. I'm gonna FaceTime you and it's just gonna be a vertical. <laughs> it's just gonna be the camera angle it's of my dick. It's gonna be half of that liquid <laughs> death cam. Yeah, it's yeah, gonna dude. be the bottom half of that liquid <laughs> death yeah, cam. Yeah, dude, you're gonna, you're gonna fucking. <laughs> you're gonna fucking answer the FaceTime and it's gonna be fucking. It's gonna be this. What's up, dude? Dude, what's up, dude? How are you, dude? Just hangs up immediately. Dude, what's up? No, dude, I thought we were chill like that. 
It's gonna be a documentary twenty years later. So the, but, <laughs> the dark side of R three. Yeah, he would just come into the studio like and like he would show up naked, just strong in his joke. Yeah, he would be, he would, he would just be. Sh- he would just be smoking his own sausage in the studio. <laughs> We'd ask him, Michael, please put some clothes on. And, and he would say, I didn't bring any. And nobody had, we'd had nothing to cover him with. So we he would no just. clothes for Mike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he would hide the keys to the studio and he would hold us at cock point. <laughs> and he'd play eeny, meeny, miny, mo until he came. And you know. He played duck, duck, goose until he came. He would play duck, duck, goose. <laughs> And for some reason, it always landed on either Reed or Matthias. <laughs> Mostly Reed. Like if he was in a good mood, it was always Reed. But you know, if he was if he was in a bad mood, I'm just like an abusive, like fucking, <laughs> <laughs> fucking abusive, fucking P. Di- I'm just P. Diddying you guys. <laughs> the dark side of R three. Yeah, dude. He would just he would sit on the toilet for hours and just eat food. <laughs> he would just. <laughs> as he, uh, it's coming out as as it's going in, as he would say. He was just a fat fucking. That is something I would do. Just eat food on the toilet, <laughs> yeah. dude. That's so fucking just gross. A whole fish in your mouth at once. Yeah, I uh, I don't know, dude. I am doing a lot of. I catch myself. I, 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 I've put on some weight, guys, and um, I'm in a I'm in a caloric deficit. I've had one bagel today. Um, I, thank you. I can feel, you know, when you're in a, when you're in a, excuse me, when you're in a caloric deficit, you can, you can feel it. Every time you say caloric deficit. Caloric deficit. Caloric deficit. Every time you're in it, you can feel it, right? You kind of, it's kind of like this, uh, it's like a keto, kind of feels like keto a little bit, but I'm, I'm like, I'm just cranking the knob to the left as far as like calorie intake. I'm not eating a lot. And I can feel my body, like, my metabolism is speeding up, and I feel a lot better. So I'm just going to stay on that. And um, I think, Taylor, we should play more b-ball. I was thinking about b-ball. And, and, and frizz. Throw the frizz. I suck at frisbee, oh, we bro. Got, you think, like, as an Asian, I'd be good at, like, throwing things? Mm-hmm. We could play more b-ball. We can ball. I want to, you yeah. Gotta, you got to ball in this heat and just Yeah, I got to ball. Yeah, 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 yeah. Drink water. Drink oh, a ton yeah. of water. Oh, Big yeah. Big jugs of water. Yeah. Jugs. Yeah, I'm trying to get one of them goddamn. I'm trying to get one of those Yeti fucking. <laughs> I'm trying to get a fucking Yeti lantern, dude. <laughs> get that big old clanger. You know what I'm saying? That the big, crab bucket. Yeah, I'm trying to get that big old clanger, dude. That fucking. I don't know what they call it, but I want one of those. It's a Yeti clang. I'm trying to. Yeah, I want that Yeti clanger, dude. And I just want to fucking throw one of those back a day and sweat most of it out, play some B ball. Uh, I want to bring a skateboard to our b-ball spot so I can hit that little ledge there. We have this one. Yeah, I know. I, I Fuck, dude. I want to start skating so bad. And that's the board that I want to build. Uh, it's a wider version. I need like an 825. I think that's an 8.5. It's a pretty wide board. But yeah, I'm trying to skate again, dude. Especially like even like simple chill spots. Like a like just like a little staircase or like a curb or something that's uh-huh. covered. And I just fucking stay there. I do it every day. Just skate every day. Get my legs nice and strong again. What's why I'm noticing is like when I'm on the board, it's been so long since I've skateboarded. Yo, I've gained significantly more weight than I was in middle school, and I'm standing on the board, and I'm like, Whoa. I look like the old people we used to laugh at, and that bothers me. That bothers me. I look like fucking Dr. Doolittle on a fucking skateboard. Just fucking fat, fucking dumbass, uncoordinated idiot. Damn it, dude. Dude, watch you get extra hot, and you, and you start getting spots. Yeah, watch. Yeah, well, the yeah, only man. reason why I don't get booked in this town is because I'm an uggo. Let's be honest. You can be as funny as you want. You can be as funny as you want, baby. But this is Hollywood, Texas, and you got to look here. This is what I'm gonna. Uh, here's what I'm gonna have to look like in order to get more work in this town. This is my dream body. I just airdropped Taylor a picture of my dream body. Okay, this is me, and this is me by next summer. Mark my fucking words. This is Michael Ridley, summer of 2025. This is my goal body. This is who I want to be. <laughs> dream facial hair. <laughs> dream hairline. Little, I want to be chiseled, but I don't want to be shredded. I want it to look natural, right? And the way I'm going to achieve this is I'm going to do traditional Asian workouts, okay? So I've bought, I've purchased... Uh, two 30-kilogram stones, 
<laughs> I will be drilling a hole in them. I will be putting a bamboo rod <laughs> inside of them, and I'll be placing them over my shoulders, and I'll be walking trails with those over my shoulders. Uh, I've looked up a couple of waterfalls in Austin, Texas. We have waterfalls here in Texas. Uh, once a day for two and a half hours, I'm going to stand under a waterfall and just look up over and over and over again. Just the resistance of the water. That's why the hairline is gone. Because this guy's been standing under a waterfall. Look at those traps, dude. Taylor, zoom in on those <laughs> traps right quick. Th those are waterfall traps. These are all traditional Asian workout methods, okay? Oh, Asian workout method. And I'm going to be including <laughs> Brent, and we're going to go through a body <laughs> transformation. By the end of 2025, Brent Gill will look just like this man. I do. Well... I got a little bit less hair. That's like if we if we did the fusion dance and we both got <laughs> if we fused our bodies. No, but this is but this is uh this is me in summer of 2025. So I'm talking about my weight loss. I'm in a caloric deficit of course, right now. Of course. And um I love how you have this on your phone to airdrop too, by the way. Yeah, I had a little this bit. This is just a thing that he has. Yeah, I yeah, love I, how you know that he airdropped it. You weren't even in here. You like, were outside. It's so. in the right corner. I mean, in the bathroom. You were in the bathroom. So. Yeah, I was in the bathroom. I'm milking. Love, Sorry. I, uh, 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 contrary to popular belief, I do prepare for this fucking podcast. I do prepare for it. Okay, and this is one of my. This is one of uh, the things that I prepared. Is I envision for myself. You know, this is this is what I want to be. This is who I am. Honestly, dude, I want to Photoshop my tattoos on this picture, dude. I want to Photoshop my... Dude, I want to look like this, but look at those nips. God, those are my dream That nipples. is why Batman and Robin <laughs> had those nipple out, uh, cutouts dude, in the, I, it, because they had nips like that. Dude, the, yeah. You can't have nips like this and not have a press of them. Yeah, well, that guy's think, body does look like the chest plate of the Batman. Here, go I'm ahead. I'm telling you. Uh, if, you think, if you think about uh, <clears throat> back in the day, you know, that was like showing a little ass for it's the true. guys. That's you true. You know what I mean? Yeah. That was like showing a little It's like showing the top of your shaft. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Where you fucking just, just That's my, the best part. Yeah, I'm just I'm just flashing you my pubis. <laughs> I'm showing Look how up. girthy I am, baby. Yo, hey baby, peep my dick root. <laughs> yeah. Peep, hey, 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 dude. Hey, hey, come hey. on, man. Put your stump away. We got kids here. Put your trunk this away, man show, bro. This man's showing yeah. stump out here, dude. Put He's your stumping, dog. I'm stumped. <laughs> dude, I'm fucking stumped up right now. I'm not bricked up. I'm stumped. I'm full stump. Dude, I'm fucking 100% stumping under this table right now. <laughs> Looking at this. Been stumping since Stump Town. Yeah, dude. I'm Love the stumping on Stump Town Street. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. Welcome to Stumpville, USA, dude. <laughs> God damn I love it. that Vegas show with the broom stumped. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Stumpville, USA. Population two. <laughs> it's me and you, dude. Show Wang. Yeah, we're the co mayors of Stump Town, yeah. USA, dude. That's why his hat says Wang's World. It, know, it, it did say Stump World, but it didn't. It didn't rhyme. <laughs> you know, it used to be. Uh, that's what they. That's what they call Portland. Stump Town. Yeah, <laughs> that's where Stump Town Coffee came from. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> oh, that's wild. Batman and Robin chest plate. Oh, no, you're fine. You're not gonna leave for the tenth time. No, he does. Not until I leave for good, <laughs> which is right now. It. Goodbye. Yeah, thank you. And that is my exit. Yeah. Goodbye. <laughs> we did already like run. We because me and Ridley just kept doing the pod. I yeah. love that. So yeah. are we on bonus material? Yeah. No. So are we yeah, looking for a second on, episode? This is going done? on the Patreon. No, yeah, no, no, on no. the page. I, I, don't, no, have I don't have one yet, but yeah, the, the, we got to keep my... talking about the Patreon, though. Yeah, I know. We'll, we'll keep talking about it, but like, I want to keep figuring out on, like, uh, I want to figure out how I'm going to achieve this goal body, dude. I'm trying to think of what other things I can do. Oh yeah, yeah. Balance um, like water on your head through. Yeah, a yeah, 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 yeah. I could balance a bucket of water on my head for uh, an extended period of time. I'm thinking maybe you know uh, go into a rice field and just start picking rice. I'm talking like. For, if you pick seven million pieces of rice out of the ground, you'll look like this, dude. Or like eating rice with just just grain by grain with chopsticks only. Yeah, you know, every like, Kill Bill. You yeah. know what I mean? Do all the things Uma Thurman had to do when she was up in the mountains with every that guy. day. Yeah. Every day for forty five minutes, I'll have six dudes just beat the shit out of me with bamboo sticks, like in kung fu. 
Can I be part of that, actually? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm just going to fucking hold my arms just out. a bunch just, of comics beating yeah, him yeah, up. That sounds cool. Just taking... None of the swings hurt because we're all pussies. None of... <laughs> <laughs> or I'm just that strong. It yeah, no, actually no, does it's hurt. Not that. It, it just actually... Yeah, no, this actually is in, in excruciatingly painful, dude. I'm just that fucking sick, dude. I'm the mayor of Stumpville, dude. I have to be... Yeah, you're just full stump when it's happening, too. Yeah, I'm... Yeah, I'm, your stump's out. I'm, yeah. the ho I'm the Hokage of the stump village. I'm the... <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> even <laughs> I don't know what a Hokage is, but it's I like love a, the it's name. It's like a ninja emperor from an anime. It's a from... ninjerer. Ooh, Whoa. no, let's not do that. That did not come out well. <laughs> Leave it in. That did I, not come out well. See, that's what happens when matchups go say, wrong. Did nope. you just say ninja with a heart? <laughs> God damn it, you see them goddamn, oh, see no. them goddamn ninjas that I'm just screwed. moved in? Oh There's some God. damn ninjas moved in, trouble. dude. With their fucking, with their goddamn kung fu and their fucking, their smelly food and their Japanese cars. I'm going to let him take this for the rest of the- And the goddamn, and their fucking perfect eyes. There's nothing wrong with their eyes and- <laughs> White skin that for some reason we all agree that is yellow for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy that Asians like got yellow as our colors. Like, dude, we're fucking white, dude. Well, it's white. But, but when you go outside, it's like when you, you know, like when you get vitamin D, then you kind of yellow up a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like white people red up a little bit. We get he raspberry. is a little yellow. Yeah, dude. he's a little he's a little razzed up. He is, yeah. God, he's so powerful. <laughs> What kind of car do you think he's standing in front of? Because it looks like one of those vans, like those. No, like, it's a uh, it's a Toyota Hilux. The the little f uh, front cab truck with yep. the okay. It's yeah yeah yeah. It's the Tacoma before the Tacoma. I can tell, but it's either like a. No, look at that window though. That looks like a delivery vehicle. It's either a, it's either mirror, a, I mean. it's either like a Datsun Sunny. Yeah, I can see that. A Datsun a Datsun Sunny or a fucking Toyota Hilux. A Dat Sunny. A Dat Sunny. A Dat Sunny. A I woo. Love Woo. I thought we weren't going to talk about cars, guys. Hi yeah, get, Jesus Christ, that's true. It's I can't <laughs> help it. I'm so I'm sorry, the dude. My friends hate being strong. in a car with me because I'll pull up to someone and roll my window down just so I can tell them I like their car. Mm -hmm. They're like, "You're such an asshole," or I'll like be driving by them and I'll honk and I'm like, "Ah." You're the kind of guy that will see like a nice car and bite your bottom lip. Mmm. Day bounce bounce. Oh, oh uh, yeah. <laughs> bounce bounce bounce. Is that a purple PT cruiser with flames on the side, dude? Oh yeah. Who the fuck is that? Is that fucking Guy Fieri pulling up in the drop top PT cruiser right now, dude? Day bounce bounce. <laughs> Be honest, Brent. You ever seen a car that made you let out a little? Uh, de <laughs> definitely <laughs> more of a. Hi <laughs> I'm too good at that. I've never done that, and I'm too good at it. Uh, yeah, there definitely are cars that make me come a little bit. It was all those trips you made to Thailand. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I want to circle back on the transgender thing. I think that um, I think that uh, here's the thing: do what I, do whatever you want, be whatever you want. But when I was in middle school, I wanted face tattoos, and wow. my parents did not let me get them. And Shocker. I'm grateful. I'm yeah. grateful that they didn't let me get tattoos because growing up for us, our thing was we stretched our earlobes, and I regret doing that. So I, I wait. Can you got only loose lobes. Yeah, I have a, yeah, I only have one. Oh, that's even worse. I know it is. Worse. You didn't even do it it's like <laughs> symmetrically. Nope. That's fucking weird. Nope. I'm just plugged up. Coming on from side. the guy that also got his nipple pierced in the front seat of a car at a oh. park and ride because we were bored, I like, <laughs> like I get doing dumb shit, but they, that, they light a needle with a lighter and just shoved it, it through. Pretty much. Oh. Yeah. Oh. And then and then they missed putting the the earring in, so they had to go through again with the oh. needle. Oh, it was bad. Fucking Christ, but, dude! Uh, you have a chooched up nip, dude. You'll it's never, not, you'll it's never not have super chooched like that, dude. It's not super chooched. But I'll tell you what, when, alpha nips like when that, they rub dude. on it, it's uh, hypersensitive. Uh, yeah. I'm a, I know girls who had inverted nipples. Uh -huh. Like, you know, they had those yeah. middle school fat yeah, Big boy, old dishes and they're inside. Yeah. Fat boy middle school okay, nipples. First that of go all, inside. I had those nipples. So Me too. Fuck I, can you. I can talk about it. Okay. Fuck you, dude. I, had those I still have those nipples. Pretty okay, much. good. All yeah, right. I've all seen right. Taylor's nipples. Look, they're all right. Fucking this, is a, this, is an, <laughs> this is an inclusive, this is an inclusive pot. Taylor's shitty ass nips, dude. I, uh, <laughs> shit nips is what they call him behind his back. Yeah, Tigor shit nips over here, dude. Tay Tay shit nips. Deluxe. Fuck. Fucking yeah, shit nips of Stump Town. <laughs> shit nips. Uh, yeah, but uh, so girls have my nipples are getting hard just talking about it. But uh, 
<laughs> they, they fucking, they'll get their nipples pierced, and then it fixes their nipples, dude. So I get it. I understand, like, the surgical effects. Oh, it pops it out. Yeah, it pops it out. Well, you know it creates what's funny, cartilage. Though? It creates a cartilage tunnel, yeah, that and that sense. props the nipple up like a yeah. tent. No, Maybe all this I'll makes get sense. my nips pierced. All this yeah, makes yeah, sense. you can However, totally rock and pierce nips, dude. Uh, just on stage as a metal performer with pierced nips, dude. I mean, that would actually be pretty cool. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, but my right nipple, not the one that was pierced, my right nipple, because it was obviously gay if you pierced your right nipple. Uh, yeah, everybody uh, knows that. Yeah, duh. Uh, that one constantly hard. Oh, nice. So it really didn't do it for me. Sick, dude. So your nipple and my penis have something in common. <laughs> they're tiny and they're always <laughs> yeah, and on display. <laughs> Uh, it would be weird. I have no tattoos or body modifications, and just to have just your nipples pierced is wild. That is crazy. <laughs> yeah, dude. I knew a, uh, one of my buddies. He's a heavier set dude, and he has like Buddha tits, and he has pierced nipples, and it always freaked me the fuck out. We'd be at a pool, and his nipples are like drooping downward, and there's just, like a little barbell down there. Yeah. Like, dude, you got industrial tits, brother. Yeah. Dude, I'll tell you this. When much, I look, this when I look at his tits, I hear disturbed. <laughs> I get wow. <laughs> yeah, I can hear it's dude. He's definitely down with the sickness with those things. Like, holy shit! My buddy has uh, he may have some tattoos that I'm not aware of, but no piercings, no nothing. Uh, his nipples are pierced, uh, and he has a insane cock piercing. Oh yeah, dude! Like it's like oh. it's not an Albert. It's like a different one. It like goes it like goes through. So oh. so it goes through the head and then in it and out the sides. No, oh, yeah. dude, he's got when, a... he ex- when he described it to me, that's exactly how I responded to oh, it. Oh, dude, he's got the tri blowhole. Yeah, dude, he can play whistling Dixie with his cock when he takes a piss. <laughs> he can play the he can play he, he can play Duel of the Fates when he takes a piss. He just whips his cock out and he's taking a piss and you hear you hear over uh, you hear from the urinal over. You just hear. <laughs> oh, excuse me, dude. He's like he's like playing the ocarina of time. <laughs> he has an ocarina. He has a, he has a cockarina. <laughs> it's fucking just multiple hey, holes. Hey, cockarina. Uh, hey. Uh, you can fuck it. Yeah, he's playing hot cross buns with his little cock. <laughs> hot cock buns. Hot cock buns. Yeah, dude. He's, he, uh, Sounds like a recorder. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's pretty crazy. So he has like an anchor in his cock. Yeah, basically. dude. Whoa. So, so like, if I could draw it, it would. I mean, if this is your cock, right? Uh, it goes Whoa, through like big. this, right? So there's a bar here, but uh, as it comes out, it goes back in and out. What the fuck? It's fucking insane. I just, yeah. And I do a lot of work with his wife, so I just know that she's getting fucked by that. Ooh. And now I haven't seen it, Ooh. thankfully, but. Yeah, dude, he just he jizzes like a claymore. Also, too, what if this was a lie? Like, what if he just made this up? Now you're telling everybody. No, because he's everyone in the Denver scene knows this. When he when he when he ejaculates, it looks like fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> I just like in every direction. It's like a spray bottle on mist. Yeah, yeah, it's like, yeah he's a, he has a fucking he has a fucking claymore down there. Just fucking <laughs> everyone in a five foot radius gets a little. Yeah, the splash zone <laughs> yeah, has a yeah. whole new meaning now. Yeah, he has a tattoo on his pubes. This is yeah. the splash zone. <laughs> Instead of Gallagher, it's Jizziger. <laughs> <laughs> you were close again on that one, dude. Jeez. Whoa, whoa, dude. Did you just say Gallagher with a hard R? <laughs> Gallagher. Black, Black Gallagher. From Black, Gallagher. Black, Black Gallagher. Black Gallagher. Gallagher. Oh, Gallagher. I love, oh, yeah, you're old. You love that game playing. That's my favorite arcade game. No, uh, dude, I want to get a dick piercing, but I want I want a lip piercing for my foreskin. <laughs> you want to get? Oh, Jesus Christ! I want I want a series of lip piercings on my foreskin. Snake I want, bites on your foreskin. <laughs> yeah, dude, I want my dick to get snake bites, dude. I want my dick to look like a Hot Topic employee from 2006. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you when my wife unzips my pants, my dick will just go, "Hey, welcome to Hot Topic." Quit trying to get his dick anything. hard with that picture. Oh yeah, 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 uh. dude. I want to. Yeah, that's crazy, dude. I want to get one of those piercings. Yeah, yeah, sna- yeah there want, you go. I want my yeah, my foreskin. I want two of those in my foreskin. That's I want, fucking I want, wild. I want my dick to look like a uh, catfish. <laughs> like Here's what's so weird is we can like see like, like you can see. Ah! Oh God, dude. How do they do that? Oh, it went through. It's one bar. Oh uh, yeah, that nice. Was right on your right underneath your. That's a you. Like, that's a horse thing. I want the one that screws in. I'm gonna get the one that you have to like lift the skin and like insert a screw receptacle. Oh <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go that. Go to that. Yeah, I. Yeah, I want that one. That bottom left one right there. The bottom left of the screen, very bottom left. That under the foreskin. So when ah! I 
I peel my foreskin back, Gross. and it's just there's a little barbell right there, and then I peel it over, and then I have those two balls. You know what's gonna happen is your foreskin's gonna get stuck on it, and it's just gonna look like it's shrugging over, like it's a young bulldog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my my dick's gonna look like it's wearing a Letterman's jacket. <laughs> also, you have foreskin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, still intact. What is that like? Well, uh, it's pretty sick. So <laughs> apparently, they say it's pretty sweet. There's a clip right there. Clip that. <laughs> What's that like? <laughs> oh, that's pretty sick. So it's like they say there's uh, 20,000 nerve endings in your penis that gets removed when you get circumcised. I, I only lost about 8,000, but I yeah. Don't, yeah, yeah, I get it when it's that big. <laughs> I, uh, just a huge cock. I only lost 8,000 when they cut my shit off. Come on, BHG. Well, so big, my, huge cock gill. Yeah, yeah, dude. Uh, uh, big, <laughs> big hog gill. Big hog gill over here. Dude. This is a BHG, dude. <laughs> But no, they say you lose 20,000 nerve endings when you get it cut, and I mm-hmm. don't know why we do it. And they say Jews don't rule the world, but everyone's circumcised for some reason. Even people that aren't Jewish. Everyone has a Jewish penis for some reason. Are the Palestinians? Uh, I don't think Palestinians are. I think that's why they're fighting. Over foreskin. Yeah, they're f- the fight of foreskin. It yeah. makes more sense now. I've always been the wondering Gaza, what's been going over there. So the Gaza Strip is the that Gaza strip sh- of foreskin. Yeah, the Gaza, yeah, the Gaza Strip is when you pull your head back, and it's that little space in between your oh, head the and ridge. your shaft. Yeah, the ridge. That yeah, is the Gaza, that's strip the Gaza Strip that they're fighting over. That's my over. favorite part. That is the best part. That's where all those nerve endings are that get lost. So imagine like... Imagine there's all this feeling that you have, like this is a force. I don't have to head. imagine it. I got it. Yeah, and then just they just go like this. There's twenty thousand just gone. And there, <sighs> there's, what's crazy is there's these people called intactivists, and they have rallies and they protest uh, for intact dicks. Yeah, they you know they 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 like stop cutting off baby dicks. They hold pictures. This is all real. What about you? Do you have foreskin? No. No. no yeah, no, you no. guys are. You guys have. You know. Could you put your? Could you put another dick in your foreskin? Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, maybe a small dick. Yeah, I don't have much. Foreskin. Maybe a large clit. I could. Yeah, 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 yeah. I could dock. <laughs> it's I, like it's yeah. like those little those sea mammals that I just. Could, fucking <laughs> I could dock a large clit. You could clit dock it. Yeah, I could clit dock for sure. I would. I would swallow it. It uh, would look like a, my foreskin eating a clit would look like a bass with a worm on the hook. Yeah, uh, <laughs> my foreskin's crazy, dude. Yeah, uh, it's crazy. I put a golf ball in there. What? Yeah, I can put a golf ball in my foreskin. Like what brand? What? <laughs> Pilot. Pilot. Titleist. Titleist? I can put. Yeah, I can put. A th- what the fuck did you say? Just pilot f- golf balls. Oh, so like the small ones? No. Pilot golf balls? Have you heard of a pilot golf ball? I don't know anything about golf. I know a lot about golf, and there's not a pilot golf ball. Okay. Nitro? Yeah. yeah. Never mind. It just there's one I found one on Google that says a legendary pilot has retired. It's a custom golf ball. It's not even real. But yeah, I can put a <laughs> when I was oh I started with marbles as a kid. I used to put a cat's eye in there. I have a joke about this. I this used to is put so a cat, funny. I used to put a cat eye in my in my foreskin. It started yeah. small. I start with like a started with a BB. Is that how you got to it to stretch so long? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know how people stretch their ears? Yeah, you stretch your I've foreskin. I've been gauging my foreskin. Yeah. yeah. I can put like a fucking... Now it's like loose and it just kind of flops around his head. It doesn't even yeah, do yeah. the job it's supposed to. No, no, no. I feel nothing. <laughs> One day... Well, sometimes I'll put a coaster in there. You know what I mean? I'll put a... Do you like squeeze your head down so you like push your head like this so you can get the coaster in that way? Or is the coat... Like how how are you inserting the coast? Uh, You know, I just... I... Show me your cock. So All this right, is yeah, your cock. <laughs> So like here's here's my foreskin and then here's the coaster. I just go like this. Just kind of, just kind of stretch yeah, so it around. You, so, so, so you sp- then, so you 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 smash your head down. Yeah yeah yeah. You and can, and yeah, you, when, yeah. You're, when you're soft, you can. There's there's some play. I'm never soft, so I don't know what that's like. So there's some play. Yeah, this is my cock, and then my foreskin comes out to here. I can just fucking and then wrap it over. And then it would look like that. Uh, uh, and now I'm blocked off. Yeah. So like if I'm going on like a He's long, all plugged up. I'm plugged up. So if I'm like, you know, if I'm driving, you know, 30 or 40 minutes, I'll, I'll, plop, I'll plop it in there just to help it hold. And I get so much back pressure going. 30 minutes? That's yeah, as long I, as you can go? I can hold I can hold my pee for about 30 minutes. Wow. Yeah, yeah, You're yeah. doing a good job on this podcast then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm it's a good thing good. I left twice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll <laughs> dude, I'll, I'll put the coaster in there and I build so much back pressure that like I have to like I have to pull. I have, don't open that. Don't open that. Don't open that. Yeah, that's where the nasty ones go. Is this cocaine? No, these are Zin. This is a custom Zin. Con- it smells like cocaine. It does. It yeah. feels like cocaine. Do you want one? No. You're not a nicotine guy. No. You, you, you don't do. Your nicotine. wife said you can't have any more. She doesn't control me. Jesus, what the fuck kind of toss was that? You threw that at him like you were mad at him. Put it in an upper decky. You know what I love watching? You know what's also, you know, another thing that I do is I'll, <laughs> I'll pop, 
No, no. Since we're on the topic of foreskin, I'll pop a couple of these in my foreskin. Oh, uh, then it slaps. It, hits it a lot hits harder. harder. Yeah, it yeah, does yeah. hit harder because the blood vessels in my cock just my cock and my brain are connected. get erect. My cock and my brain are connected yeah. naturally, yeah. so it's like that yeah, it makes sense. Straight, yeah, it's like an elevator. Straight that makes sense. Up. Yeah, I love watching comedians try to perform with an upper deck in. It sucks. It's it, so stupid. It's stupid. You look like you're trying to keep your teeth in. It's a whole bunch of lip, lip, like trying to get up to your tongue and pull it up. Pull it I can't do it. Uh, uh, I've, walk, I've walked on stage with one in my lip and I go, fuck. I go, one second, guys. And I, I've opened the curtain at Creek, just spit it out and fucking proceed to crush. And then when my set's over, if I remember, I'll pick it up. Ew. I'm sorry, Creek employees. I'll be better about that. He won't, though. No, I did it last time. I've done it He's three not. times. I've done it three times. I've picked it up once. You may not be perfect, but you're honest. Zins aren't entirely gross when they dry up. You're just kind of like, okay, yeah, I'll pick this up, and then I'll wash my hands. But if you pick up a wet, slimy <laughs> slug so, so, of a zin, So is all of that powder, is that supposed to all, uh, over time, dissolve into your body? It doesn't dissolve. I think you're dissolving the nicotine powder, but what stays is the, it's baking soda. It's literally sodium bicarbonate and fucking nicotine. Gotcha. So, like, I think the sizzle comes from the baking soda in your lip. Uh -huh. Honestly, I think the baking soda is there to synthesize the bite of, like, actual dip. It's like vaping. It's the vaping of dip. And they're trying to ban it. It's just as gay. I it's, think they're trying to ban it because it's so gay. Yeah, because you're just walking around like a little, like a little, uh, 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 what is it, a chipmunk with cheeks full of cum, but it's just <laughs> the same. Just, just, just Did you follow that one? A little metrosexual city cowboy just <laughs> trying to like pretend that you're dipping. You yeah, know? you're 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 <laughs> chipmunk cheeks full of jizz is crazy. Yeah, it is a crazy riff. It's a crazy amount of jizz. <laughs> Taylor, are you gonna cut some of that stuff out like when he was walking? What? I was closing the door. Closing the door and all that. Could you make I don't know. We'll figure it we'll out. We'll figure it out. Or you we'll can just post out. it raw. Who gives we a shit? We should wrap this up, though. Yeah, we should. Yeah, I we just should. missed like three phone. I, my whole day has been late today. I'm so sorry. I woke up. I'm not going to tell you this on air. It was great to see you guys. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, guys, thank you so much for joining us for another episode of Radio Ridley Radio. Uh, this was our first fucking uh, car one. I hope that you like the 40 minutes of autistic car talk. They and then it. we it was talked fantastic. about, talked about uh, dick piercings and nipple piercings, and we made fun of. Uh, gay Ninja Turtles and all that stuff, and I had a good time. Well, I now, Gay Ninja Turtles redundant. It was just Ninja Turtles. Do you have anything you need to plug? Yeah. Uh, check out my Instagram. Uh, this comes uh, out next Friday. Watch my comedy special uh, on YouTube. It's called Live from Philadelphia. You can find it on my website or on Helium Comedy Studios uh, page as well. If you just search Brent Gill Comedy, you'll find me. Uh, BrentGillComedy.com. You can follow me online, Instagram, at I am Brent Gill. Uh, if this comes out next week, I'll be headlining uh, Schmiggity's. Uh, I'm opening up uh, in Steamboat, uh, Steamboat Springs, Colorado. I'm opening up the comedy series for for this summer, so I'll be the first headliner up there. That is nice. uh, the 14th and 15th of June. Uh, so come check me out there. Uh, I should have got the rest of my shows prepped, uh, but I was not ready for that. It's fine. I don't think we have any listeners in Colorado, but uh <laughs> Southwest flies to Steamboat though. Do it. Go so see, come see me. Please go see Brent Gill. Yeah. Or just follow amazing. me online. I'm funny. I am Brent Gill. I am, uh, I'm putting out videos and stuff like that. So. All right. Well, thank you for joining us, Thanks brother. I have to fucking piss like crazy. Go pee-pee. Adios. Go pee-pee. Bye-bye. I love you. Later.